Zuri is also sleeping, so I don't want to wake her up. Um, to, on today's video, we are going to do a best friend Q&A. You guys have seen a handful of videos with Shayma and I. You guys know Shayma. Like, Hi, party people. She literally runs the show around here. Um, but we're going to do a best friend Q&A for today's video for you guys to get to know us a little bit more and just a little bit more about our relationship because we get a lot of questions where people are like, how do you guys manage working together, her being your kids' godparents, being best friends, living two seconds away from each other, like all of that. Um, and I will add that it is, it's like, it's crazy to think about us doing all those different things and knowing how to like compartmentalize them so well, um, because I've seen it with other people and things just clash. Um, so there are certain friends that I have that I would be like, I would never work with them, but I love them from the bottom in the depths of my soul. Um, but somehow we just find a way to make it work. Yeah. Um, so Corey is behind the camera. Hello influencer world. Influencer husband and influencer dad is behind the camera. Professional dad. I think, professional I think it's dad. because we've also gone through so many like seasons, seasons and transitions together. So yeah. I think we just, we just we know how to transition at this point so i think if anything else happens since we've gone through so many trans i julie has gone through so many transitions in the last you too you're a whole different yeah human. i am a whole different human but i mean like because of like my transitions plus your transitions yeah. we just know how to transition well yeah and so i also think that because we do so much together we try everything within us to communicate every Thing. single thing we over -communicate. we over communicate so like even down to like faith i don't like the way you said that or yeah. like i don't like the way you handled this or we like, need to do what better just or yeah what just happened like you just shifted like those type of conversations instead of like i know friends who are just like scared get all mad and then days and weeks go by and it's like yeah i'm trying to think about we don't get mad at each other i don't think well, I don't think we get mad. Yeah. But I know t when tones change, we know when tones are changing, but typically I don't think it's, there's multiple factors making tones change. Right. And once we like dump at the end of the day, we then can understand like, oh, she oh, caught that's like a tone at this point, but I didn't know she got this text message and this was going on or like, right. I didn't know somebody said something rude and she was trying to control and I just walked in or I didn't know. Yeah. Zuri had a blowout on her face and I walked in three <laughs> seconds later, like, can we do this? And she's like, I have poop in my nostrils right like, now. Literally. Like, or she doesn't know things that happen, vice versa. We just, but at the end of the day, by the time it gets done, we're like, oh, she was, right. she had a tone for three seconds today because like, it's not like all day we're yeah. stomping at each other. Whatever. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no. So, I think, well, I guess we'll just go into the questions. Yeah. You can pick which ones you want to ask, boo, so. Also, I'm on my phone halfway because we got jobs over here and things to do. Still working. And we love our team so much that we told everybody to stay We told everyone home. to stay home. Because um, we had we, our team dinner last night. Yes. And everyone was crying. Insert class from team dinner. <laughs> yeah. We had our amazing team dinner last night and everyone was like, do we really have to work? 6 a.m. And then everybody's like, I'll see you tomorrow. Acting all sad. So I was like, you know what? Everybody stay home. We'll figure it out. But yeah. Here we are. So boop, you're you're up. Without further ado, question <laughs> number one. Um, so well this is gonna be for the new people, because if you're a uh, OG. OG. Yeah, if you're an OG to the to the vibes of these two right here, then you know, but We'll start off with this question anyway. Number one, how and when did you and your best friend meet? I know it was, it June, was June. June 14th was the Yeah, day. it's June 14th, I know that. I didn't know if I it was 2017 or 2018. It was June and <laughs> <laughs> um, we met officially at her meet and greet that she was her, her, I don't know if it was your first Dallas meet and greet, but it, it was, was a meet and, first and Dallas meet, meet and greet. And greet. It was a meet and greet that she was hosting and I've been following her for a little bit 
and I just was like, I'm gonna go pull up and support because like I love her content. Um, and like, I'm just gonna go for vibes and support cause like, I don't know. And I like enjoyed the influencing space and like we all know like when you follow enough content creators, you're like, that's my friend. Like, like she I don't know, know it, but you know, we know each other. Um, and so I like went to this event, no intention of anything. Just like, I'm just gonna go support her, have a glass of champagne and then dip out. And I like asked one of my um, college friends at the time to come with me. The spirit of the Lord. <laughs> came over me because I was like in a different season of life. Um, and I was interested in getting into the content creation space, but by no means did I go with the intention of like even talking to Julie. So I just was like, I'm just gonna go to this event. Um, and I think it was like within the last five minutes, I think she wrapped up, we took pictures. It was like, everything was like done. And I like walked up and just said like, hey, so I am interested in like the influencing space. I know enough about it, but not the like BTS and behind the scenes and like all that stuff. Like and I know how you feel about meeting new people and people in your space, but do you mind if I shadow you for like one day and I'm not a creep, I will literally do whatever you want so that it's like mutually beneficial basically. Um, like, is that okay? And I was like sweating bullets and like dying inside. And she won't, <laughs> she won't, I don't know if she'll remember it, but it was the longest pause before she said, absolutely. And she said it just like that, cause I'll never forget, but like her face, I was like, she's gonna say no. And I'm gonna pass out right here and then I'm gonna have to go home and be like, why did I even say anything? But she was like, absolutely. And then I think it was the part that you were like, can I shout at you? But I'll also help out because I know it's awkward when people just sit and stare. Yeah, because who does that? And I was like, I could use a little help. But I also, it had to be discernment because I, people ask me that every single day. <laughs> people literally ask me that every single day, even to this day. People so, ask me and I'm like, mm mm. Yeah, so it had to be God. But that's how we met. Fast forward to all of this now. We locked in. Yeah. What's your favorite memory together? Oh, that's hard. Well, that's a good one. I think every, I have one for like every year. So I don't know. What is your best one from the best year? No, what? That's weird. Not your favorite I don't memory. think this is a favorite memory, but when I had my million dollar dinner, Shayma didn't give a speech. You enjoyed that? No. I'm gonna cry thinking about that, that is rude. She didn't give a speech, but she texted me that night and it was a long paragraph. I of, she said I couldn't say this because she would have lost it at the table. I'm gonna lose it thinking about it now. This is dumb. She sent me. This is question two. She sent me a like it was like a book, and she was like, "There was no way I could have like even managed saying this at the table," and I think that is something that like stuck. That's hard. I think <clears throat> also you being at Zuri's birth. Zuri's birth. That's rude to Harper because I'm <laughs> obsessed with my kids. Finding out that I was gonna be Harper's godmom's clean took me out. You did fall out on the ground. Yeah, I was like on the floor. So that took me out. Watching you give birth took me out. Don't know how I didn't pass out or like sob, but like that changed girl it. literally saw me crowning. She didn't want to look. Guys, I knew I was going to pass out is the problem and I couldn't tell her she that She didn't want to look and she said, I'm not looking. I'm just going to stand at your side. Lo and behold, there was a mirror <laughs> in front. It was literally a mirror in front. <laughs> and so she looked up and she was like, <laughs> She has hair. <laughs> um, both my kids are great memories, but if it's just us, I think, well, she doesn't, I know she remembers this, but like early on, early, Cassie, yes, Cassie, Cassie, Cassie. Yeah, you are great. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair to Harper, it was like mid pandemic, so you weren't allowed to be I wasn't there. allowed to be at Harper's birth. Well, also, and the birth plan did not go accordingly, so I would have been there, and I was there up until emergency time. Music. And then I was like, I need to be by her side. Where is she? What's going on? And then I felt pure joy when Corey forgot his pillow and toothbrush because I was like, I can go up there. Maybe I can break in. And Corey was like, Shayma, you are not coming to this hospital. <laughs> I was like, oh, okay. Um, but I think it was like early, it probably was right before you met Corey. And I think like the transition in us working together and her like instilling trust in our friendship because I was like in a weird place. 
and her being like, I like it was it, God though, because yeah. it was after a few months and you had a key to my place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think it was like watching. It was. My favorite thing is like watching her allow me to be me and like like still respecting everything that I like go through or have been through with no judgment because I think it's the evolution of our friendship. Like, I don't know how to explain that in real words, but like she just, yeah. Like early on she's like, it's gonna be okay. This is how it's gonna happen. And like, I trust you and we locked it. Like, I think the freeness of that changed everything. And then like every single year I'm like, how does she trust me with more? Not that I'm not trustworthy, just like, yeah, I get there's more, she's telling me more. <laughs> There's a new level of what's happening here. <laughs> but yeah, so I don't know. The kids, yeah, but I don't think that's fair to you because like they're y'all are all individuals, if that makes sense. No, I think it counts. Twin, for you, what is Shayma's favorite animal? Yeah, I was about to say you look confused. I'm confused because I don't know hers. Oh, I wasn't gonna ask you. Thank God. <laughs> yeah, that's why I said y'all have different <laughs> I don't think I don't have one. Yeah, like what? Um, but if I had to pick, I would say a flamingo. Okay. Oh, Can you like elaborate, that. please? I've just always randomly liked flamingos. I don't know why. I don't even think I've ever heard you say the word flamingo. Me what? Ever. Like, no, like in the Anytime word. anybody will ask, like when people say like, if you could be an animal, what would you be? I always say flamingo. Hmm. But uh, we've never also asked that question. But I'm saying like, I feel like I've said it a few times. But well, did you that's, know that? Nice no, to meet I didn't. But <laughs> thank you. Know that <laughs> so for Shayma, okay. your question, what is Jaleesa's biggest phobia. Not fear, phobia. She hates anything with holes in it. There you go. Is that it? Tri okay. tri 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 something, tri tri something. Yeah. Anything with holes in it will Where it's like a bunch of holes, like. Which is wild because she also loves watching like pimple popping and nostrils and stuff. No, but it's a bunch of holes next to each other. I where know, it but some like people's craters. pores. You want to see? Send... No, I'm not, not gonna right show. now. It's don't like the plant. You know when you go to like a Because Cassie doesn't get it. Something? I'm not going to look. Cheese. Imagine like, the cheese. Like, um, no, stockings. cheese is not as bad. No, 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 no. No, like. <laughs> you know when you go to like a dentist office and they have like a floor arranger or potpourri has it in there? There's like usually a plant that has like. That. Yeah, she oh. doesn't like all of that. Yeah, she it like that. it like makes me want to throw up. Really? Yes. Can you exit out? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anything with holes in it. Okay. Anything with holes in it. That's and it. I think I never knew that I did until one day I was looking at something and it was like a form of like a form of breast cancer or some like mm. some type of infection mm -hmm. in someone's boob. And it was that all around their boob, and ever since then, I'm like, I, ah. I can't. It's I, like a flesh oh, that alone. Ah. Yes. Okay. Next question. <laughs> I'm like, did you? What is y'all's favorite thing to do together? Cocktails. Cocktails is a good time. Anything. We go to Target. We do everything together. So I'm Target and cocktails. Target and co cocktails is top two. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nice. Third is working. Oh yeah, working too. <laughs> working together. I would say watch a movie, but Shema doesn't actually watch the movies. She I have to pay attention and then she'll show me TikToks and stuff throughout the whole show. <laughs> Correct. It's my love language. But <laughs> y'all should get cocktails. Half the time Delisa's watching, watching movies and we're together. I'm working in my defense. You should get cocktails. Or make cocktails or go to Target. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh yeah, I did think about flasks no. the last time, so no. we're gonna get flasks. But no, because she went to Target the other day. She said, I'm getting three up. things. You can drive up. I'm yes. getting three things, and she had to make two trips to the car when she got back. She Could always you thanks me you. Alone? She always thanks you mm -hmm. in the midst I of it. I always that. That's your ick about me? <laughs> that I'm on my phone when we're watching a movie? Yeah, and I'll be like Wait, so into the movie or show. Mind. And Shayma. Save that one for later. What? It was one about. And Shane will be habits. like, "Did you see so and so?" And I'm like, "Yeah, okay, I'll do better." Also, your daughter is sleeping still. Oh, sorry. I'll do better. No, you won't. Yes, I will. Have faith. What is a unique thing about your friend only a few people know? Only a few people know. Unique. Oh, I know one. Proceed. That she's part Jamaican. A lot of people don't know that. She's an island thing. She's an island thing. Island guy. Really? <laughs> I'm trying to think of something that you want me to say on camera. Well, you can say it. We can cut it out if I don't. That you can say on camera. 
Shameless was kidnapped and brought to oh, the United care. States. Yeah, fun fact. Yeah. Yeah. Story time. Long, long, long story short, my dad kidnapped me from my mom. We were like missing off anybody's radar for like four years. I'm alive, You obviously. didn't see your mom for I did see my mom for four years. What? But half the family, dad's side of the family lied. Um, and yeah, and they, she, he took them and yeah, brought them here. I was in Africa time, brought us here. We didn't see her ways. mom for all those years. And then her mom came to school yes. after she had ended up finding where they were. Yes. And I came like, to school. Hey, so that my kid's there. And the school called me and went to the office and they were like, your mom's here. I was like, no, she's not. Because what are you talking about? Um, she was. <laughs> <laughs> That's it's funny. I laugh about it. It's a movie. The it's a huge story. It's a movie. I'm fine and alive, and I'm in therapy. We're great, guys. <laughs> <laughs> We're it's thriving. But yeah, like that's that. a fun fact about me. Yeah. Oh, Isn't that crazy? Know. Oh my god. Yeah. What was your best friend's first job? Mm hmm. Got you. I think Jolisa's. Well, based off what you told me was like organizing and cleaning people's closets and okay, stuff. Okay, well yeah, but like actual job. Like you gotta pay stuff from? Yeah. Like the government no took her money. Because I don't know yours either. Well, I worked at my first job was Aeropostle. Mine was Aldo. Oh. oh, I did know that. My first job that like I had I to like fill out paperwork. <laughs> fill out paperwork. <laughs> yeah. Ready for the next one? Uh-huh. Why are you so proud over there? Because he's about to ask something crazy. Uh-uh. <laughs> What was a weird dream your best friend had? No, that's not funny. Well, Jalisa <laughs> told me a weird, all of her pregnancy dreams were like super vivid for her, I feel like. Yeah, Corey almost but one, Corey life. almost lost his life <laughs> because I he either cheated or something, but she woke up super mad at him, like at, at the dream, pissed off at him. Psycho. And was like, not okay. Like, do y'all know this man had the nerve to like, like I was telling everybody all day. And then she now has an ex. <laughs> 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 she broke that dream. Yeah, that dream. <laughs> Say, yeah, my boy. You yeah. gotta ex. No, but she was like, do y'all know Corey? But she told us like it happened. So everybody was like. I was like, telling the story like it actually happened. What did he do? And she was like, yeah, last night in my dream. And I'm like. And I had to like mop this girl off the ground. Like, I was like, I was like, like it was like a handful of people like pulling me off. Have you seen this girl before? Like, in I have. I okay. have. <laughs> no, not to say that. No, no, no. Yeah. I've seen no, her before. In life. And they, they were friends. They never dated, but they were friends. But I always felt like she went to him. Oh. But they never dated, but it was still, still like she was the one in the dream, and I'm like, I knew I wasn't too far, <laughs> <laughs> too far off. This crazy. <laughs> oh my goodness! Why are you sweating over there? This happens. Y'all always I'm, say I'm sweating. Cause you, if you, I'm gonna start recording your body language. Oh my body language. No, but he was like, why are you acting like this actually happened? He's like, cuz it did. Like, she was like, on one that day. Them yeah. pregnancy dreams will get ya. Oh, this is a pregnancy dream. Yes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but, like, <laughs> yeah, that's the craziest dream I think you yep. told me. Mine was the other day. What happened in my dream? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Shame had a dream that she was married and pregnant. And. The guy told her while she was pregnant, her husband told her while she was pregnant, her, he had a whole other family. Mm. And she called me and she did, she was laughing. <laughs> and she said, you better get here right now. And she was laughing and I said, oh no, she's laughing. <laughs> this is in this We're going to jail. Yes. Okay. okay. Yeah, I said, yeah, I'm not married with nobody's kid. No, 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 I'm talking about you calling her and laughing. Oh yeah, it was in the dream. I yeah, but she was dream. like, she wasn't frantic. She was like, it's like laughing. <laughs> and I said, like, you better she's here. finna blow that house up. Somebody needs to get here. Yep. Yeah. Next yeah. question. So finish it off, because we are about to hit 25 minutes in a little bit. Okay. Name as many nicknames of your best friend as you can that they go by. Shay, Shayma, Fave, Gummy, Ketty. Mm -hmm. That's all I got. That's it. Fave, G. Jolisa's not a nickname, but you know, Jolisa. 
Boop. Twin. Mom. <laughs> Mummy. <laughs> Mummy. <laughs> Mama. Wisa. <laughs> Wisa. Um. Or yeah, that's it. That's really it. Pick name was. Who is or was your best friend's celebrity crush? Uh, yeah, hers is what's his name? Oh yeah, uh, but he's what's our guys? It don't matter. Um, mm -hmm. you know more. You're single till you're married. Um, mm -hmm. what is his name? Serge. Serge. I'm like, why am I not thinking of it? Ever since I got married, I forgot. Y'all, that his man name. is like, cause he. Yeah. Serge. He is fun. And he speaks French. <laughs> I know. What? I told you to slide in his DM and speak French. No, oh, I did slide in his DM, but nothing happened. But, but then I found a little Hefa is present. Who? His oh, he's girlfriend. like for real in a girl room. Like, yes. But he has a kid that's like old enough that I don't have to like wipe her diapers anymore. So like this could be a thing. If they don't get married. Um. Who's my celebrity crush? What? It's this basketball player. Mm. <laughs> Are y'all done? What's his name? You can say um, the crush. How do I really have a celebrity? At 7 a number 34, Corey Jackson. We always talk about how the guys, Cut. when they play basketball, <laughs> they lie. They lie about that. They always say they're taller than they actually yeah. are. Of course. Like, I'm 6'10 in college. Eight eight foot foot tall. You were 6'10 in college? Well, no, actually, I think I was 6'10 in high school. Whenever we go to restaurants, I always, sorry, Lord. I lie and say my husband is seven, seven foot or over seven feet, so they could give us the table for the leg. So I'd be like, oh, my husband, we're not gonna fit. It's not gonna work. Mm. Them stats be crazy. All right, last one. Oh, got you. Last one. Which three things would your best friend take with you on a deserted island? You got two minutes. Her phone. Her computer. Deodorant. Sounds about right. Mm. Her phone. She's not packing up some kids on her. My melatonin gummy. I'm about to say a sleep gummy <laughs> of some sort. Anything luxurious Delisa's taking outside because she'll be naked, so that's not. But something to help her rest. Her phone. Put the Bible apps on there. Mm -hmm. So melatonin gummies. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let us know if you want us to come back with another one. We love you guys. 